Namaste, welcome to Musings by Masa. I am Masa and in this video I'll be sharing with you a reproduction of the Dao Terra by Cartagram made in France. This reproduction is the copy or the reproduction of the copy of the original Jean de Dao Terra dating 1701 that is kept in the British Museum of London. Now I have found out about this Terra from my friend and uh, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, hands I'm not mentioning the name here, but I so want her to begin to start the YouTube channel so I can myself take a peek and you know who you are at uh, the beautiful uh, Terra de Marseille library collection that she has as well. In my most recent video, you probably see the description that this deck is by, produced by Cartagram, by Agnes Kepler of Cartagram. In my most recent video that just dating a couple of days ago that I filmed, I uh, talked about uh, my, I shared with you my Besançon Terror that was the collaboration between the very talented Pablo Robledo who did the artwork based on his research and studies and uh, passions for Terror de Marseille, his own new taste in the Marseille lineage and Agnes Kepler who did the paper crafting and beautiful packaging and uh, cutting of the cards. So this deck is different in that way. Yes, the same company, the same business, Cartagrame, but uh, the, uh, the other deck was, um, and, and a few of you approached to me, yes, it was a larger investment, right? But it is handcrafted when this deck is manufactured. So that's the difference. I will just open the, to move the paper out so I can actually show you the box here. So yes, this uh, this uh, Diag Jean de Dal Terror is manufactured and it's another collaboration from my understanding between Agnes who restored the cards and a family in France who owns the high definition printing and high, high precision cutting business from my understanding and please Agnes if you're watching correct me in the comments below so we all uh, know but I just wanted to, to film this video so I can really uh, play with this deck and read with this deck this weekend because I just cannot wait any longer now that I've played with my other one yes so handcrafted versus manufactured so this one is manufactured so of course it reduces the cost of the tag and uh, of course i will link my previous video below so i don't have to go uh, go on about the differences right i did show you the cardstock there and even in this deck uh, Agnes included the cards for me here, a sample of, uh, of a Dodal Tarot, uh, of a card from a Dodal Tarot deck that is uh, handmade for me to compare with, uh, with this one that is manufactured. Now, well, let's have a look at the box. The box is very sturdy, as you can see, and the box feel quite linear as well. I will turn the camera around in a moment so I can really show you the uh, the detailing of the box. At the back of the box, we have it's a bilingual, so we have the uh, a little information about the Dal Terra. The Dal is one of the oldest terrors to unveil the Marseille's design. The deep symbolism of its popular imagery became a reference among card makers during the 17th and 18th centuries. Cartagrame edits a first and faithful reproduction of the deck preserved in a British Museum of London. So here what Agnes is telling us that possibly the, the copy that is preserved in the London Museum was the first Dodal Terror. Um, and then we have the uh, the logo of Cartagrame Artisan Cartier and the website. Yeah, the box is sturdy, it's lovely, and it's not flimsy at, at all. So it's kind of nice and sturdy, and it's a two part box. And I already see. I need to turn the camera around because we need to see that seal. Oh wow! I also have an extra handmade card here to show you. I think I need to turn the camera around because the. <laughs> Uh, camera facing me will not do the justice, but just to show it's a seal and mine is it's numbered 14 out of 78 and I don't know if more copies are going to be made or 78 copies is the um, the number that Cartagrame Agnes um, has uh, has produced with that company. Um, 
yeah so let's maybe let's turn the camera around and we'll have a look at this card the format of this video it looks like it's going to be a little different i will show you the card size comparison at the very end of the video when i can turn the camera back at me and uh, and i will go and get make sure that i get my uh just a few different dodal taros uh, and uh, and just what we can see that that original card size just to give you a little comparison of what uh, what the card size is like but now is the time for us to have an up close look at the packaging and then the cards of the my newest Jean Dodal tarot released by Agnes Kapler of Cartagram and here is this beautiful box so now you can see the texture of the box a little up closer now that I turn the camera around that's the uh, little uh, description there that I read for you but let's just open this box as you can see the seal is beautiful as well right seal I think it's a logo of cartogram or one of the emblems I have a temperance card from uh, Jean de Daltero. We'll have a look at her again when we get to the temperance. And as I mentioned, my copy is 14 out of 78. But you see, as I mentioned, when I flipped it over, I found things on the inside. So we'll have a look at those first. And they're luscious. So um, let me just copy it. get the card out. So inside of the box is white. I'll just put it to the side. And I really love this business card, Agnes Kaplu, um Cartagrame. So if you're looking for Agnes's email, there you go. And it's a devil. It's got that uh, rose petal feel. I love this. It's only a tiny one. So if you look at the business card, you know, it's uh, the size of a playing card. How tiny is that little devil? But yeah, we have that as well included underneath the box but very exciting for me is to to discover that uh, agnes did include an extra handmade card in in the box of the jean dodal tarot the manufactured one and um, also in this envelope that i did share with you in my previous video on bazan soon there was that card and they're both handmade so I have two handmade uh, cards from Jodal Terra from the majors. One of them is, uh, which one here you see, this one is um, gold uh, foiled. And I don't, don't know if the camera would pick that up, but it's absolutely luscious. And this one, um, this one you can see the layering here. So this one is a little bit thicker. I talked to Mindy, my friend Mindy from the Artistry of Terror, and Mindy is also getting one of uh, Cartagrama's decks um, and she will be sharing on her channel. I'm very excited. So she did mention that um, uh, she, um, I think she probably read somewhere uh, on Agnes's media uh, that um, the major's only decks by Agnes, they are way thicker than uh, the full ones. And if you have a look, the, they feel very similar to the feel, so that kind of soapy finish and this one you can see the layers of the cards and you can see how sturdy it is so it's less flexible but it's so beautiful i wish now i just yeah i so want majors of dodal and noble in that type of stock yes they are less uh less flexible but oh they feel so good i, I can't describe and my camera can't show can't do justice and i only have two cards to to really um work on with here but but I think you can pick up that. And this one, the tower card, is a uh, similar quoting, if not the same. And again, I'm, I'm not very re well rehearsed on it, but you can see golden aging. And these ones are way more flexible. You see, they, they bend really nicely. But again, it's not the deck I'm showing you today, just the two samples that I'm so grateful to have. Just they, they, they're really they're out of this world when it comes to tarot cards but this seal is just i like as well also what i love here that uh, we have british museum license 
11.9743. So this DAG is actually produced uh, with the license provided by the British Museum for uh, Cartagrama for Agnes Kapler to use the copy and I really, really appreciate that and that reference and respect that goes into the production. Um, of course, here we have that stamp of um, what we see in uh, Agnes's business card as well. And on her website, a coupler, so Agnes coupler. And I just, yeah, oh, some it, it moves out nicely, so I don't have to break it. I don't want to break it. And uh, as I was moving that uh, wrapping paper with the seal, the cards, I brought them closer to you by chance. So as you can see, uh, and uh, it's uh, linen cardstock. Just let me put them out to the side. The full will be probably the last card of the Major Arcana but uh, i just wanted to show you so yeah the cards have a little sheen right there 310 gsm you can see they are very uh bendy so they're uh they're really lovely this way and because of that little sheen as you can see i feel like if i spill uh, a drop of something on it it will be very easy just to wipe it out to uh to push it out so the cards seem to be very durable and I did mention that uh, they are identical because they are made on the high definition or oh, on high precision cutting machine and uh, and of course the printing is high definition so let's uh, let's have a look at them they are the bags I'm just trying to give you that good overview of the cardstock that lean any feel and then we'll go through the cards very quickly because I do have walkthroughs of the doll and uh, Jean Dodal Tero is quite well known and, uh, and of course in our Tero de Marseille uh, enthusiast reading geeks community. The sharpness of the image is so lovely and this one if i forgot to mention it's a facsimile copy the uh, one true to the original under the licensing that is uh, provided by the british museum of london i'm not going to talk much about the cards because i uh, i uh, i have a few walkthroughs of uh, the daltero i have geeking out on marseille series I have a video with different versions of Jean Dodal Terra. But I really like them. Historically, I may not correct, but for me, Noble of 1650 is the first Marseille or Marseille style, right? And Dodal is the second. I have learned to love and read with Dodal before I have learned to love Noble. Now I love them both. in the last card now that I've seen the full I don't want to oh they just go from the majors there in the way they're sorted for the suit of batons that's okay too I love them, they look authentic, they look old. 
They look wonderfully, they, they feel wonderfully produced. They are that. Under brow for two of cups. Seven is missing, or an eight is there. I love the spelling in there, all the decks as well. Sometimes it's nice just to put the cards and just try to read the sentence in the language of your choice well based on those letters it's only english and spanish i can make things up i don't speak french santo dali of leon so you see leon was the city when uh where this deck originated but yet we still attribute it to terra de marseille as the style of the deck three of coins is just my favorite card coins and i see two hearts in it love it as you can see they slide beautifully uh, they slide uh, against each other beautifully i'm so great actually glad that i got this copy This one might be my Zander Dalter or go to copy now for a while. Really like how it feels. Lovely. You see the slides against each other as I mentioned beautifully. So this is our temperance card that is stamped next to and partially under the cartogram emblem. Love the detailing of Agnes's work. I hope you enjoyed having had a look at those cards. I really like them and I think they will be such durable cards and they will last a lifetime really based on their kind of lean and knee cardstock with that little sheen beautiful flexibility too but now the time has come for us to have a look at the different card comparison now that i pulled enough decks to share uh, to compare these cards with you so that's the card from the deck that i'm featuring in my today's video Jean Dodal Terror reproduction of the deck that is kept in British Museum by Cartagram Company and Agnes Kapler. So this is the card and this one is what well again I, I don't want to say it's a standard but it's just more kind of more a standard size of a tarot card what we are used to when it comes to mass market AE weight by AGM. So if I am to compare they surprisingly they're actually identical they're almost identical maybe not even a millimeter 
that uh, uh, Jean Dodal deck will be a little taller. The corner seems to have a medium rounding. So yeah, that's the card size you're looking at. So that's uh, a GM, US Games type of card size. That's how they compare. But if you have the Dodal Tero by Sullivan Hismans of Tero Sheet Revival, because I know that um, some of you, my friends, you do have a few copies of Jean Dodal Tero and you love it. I am a big enthusiast and lover and user of Jean Dodal Tero. I have videos on Jean Dodal Tero's of different reproductions and I will link them below. I also have one when I share with you four different ones side by side, but it was kind of a more earlier video. But anyway, so this one is uh, Tero Sheet Revival Sullivan Hisman's Dodal. And uh, and again, it shows the they're very very close in uh, in size. Apart from Sullivan's being uh, my corners of the Sullivan's deck are rounded, right? But they come with sharp corners. So Sullivan's card seems to be a little longer, but the newest deck, the Cartagrama one, a little bit wider. So I would say a few millimeters, maybe two, maybe. Yeah, around that two three millimeters maybe wider and as you can see uh the terror sheet revival so you see it's just the whiter one on top it's a little bit taller but also it's narrower now i also had a question about how does last year's pablo robledo's dodal compares with this one so that's the card from uh well, that's actually number two out of 90 by pablo um yeah so pablo's one is um is smaller so you can see the bottom one is Pablo's and then the top one is my newest one by uh, Cartagrami and uh, Jean Flor Noir Tarot so that's my largest um, Dodal Tarot that I have and of course it's way larger so you see um, it's white, uh, white and black background at the back so you see the difference but really, roughly, pretty much, if you look at crackled backs of AGM and my newest copy of uh, Jean Dodal Tarot from Agnes Kapler, they are pretty much identical. So that's your reference point here. And I hope you so much you enjoyed having a look at those cards. I am going to sit and do a reading for me now with them. It's uh, uh, it's Friday, Friday evening now here in Australia. Friday hitting uh, just after five on Fridays. I finished filming that uh, filming the video. Thank you so much for your time, for stopping by and watching. If you have any questions, please do let me know. I will link uh, Agnes's Cartagram website and the link to where you can purchase this beautiful deck if you're willing to. I also had a few questions and just to address that, this deck goes for 80 euros on Etsy or from uh, Agnes directly. 310 GSM cardstock, linen cardstock, as I mentioned, as I was walking through the cards. Lovely, lovely deck to, to have in your library as well, or to learn Terra de Marseille with. Thank you so much for stopping by, for watching this video. I wish you the most wonderful weekend, sending you so much love and light. Namaste.